Before we get this video started, I want to tell you guys that as soon as I seen the damage, I knew that there was no going back and I knew that I had screwed up and right away I thought that my video was over, that I wasn't going to record this anymore. But I want you guys to see that even though I've done some pretty nice uh, paint jobs in the past, I do make mistakes myself and I want you guys to see them. I have already fixed the damage that I created, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is part two and this thing dried up really good like I said in the other in the other video. It's very glossy and today we're gonna start wet sanding it. I got a bucket full of uh, soapy water. I got some sandpaper. This is the only one that I have. 1500 grit. I don't have anything else like 2000 or anything. So, we're going to work with what we have because I'm not going to go to the store. And I'm going to go ahead and throw you guys on a time lapse and we'll get started. You guys can see how I hit it and you guys can still see a little bit of glossiness. We gotta try to take that glossiness down. But I've been going really gently, really softly, because I don't wanna dig through the paint. So we're almost there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue. You guys can see like right here, this is a pretty good spot where I got it nice and faded and I'm gonna go ahead and continue do it all over again and get it all faded down Guys, I just completely this trunk. It doesn't look too bad, but it's it's done. I'm gonna have to respray this. Let me show you guys what happens when you sand too close to the edge. That's the first problem right there. The second problem is right here. Yeah, I could probably put a little spot of paint on there, sand it back down, 
not a big deal. But if you know me, I'm just gonna respray the whole thing. This is what I was talking about in my last video that I wasn't too worried about it because I do have two cans up there that I could use. Um, I am gonna go ahead and get this painted and I think I'm not gonna wet sand that until I get the correct sandpaper. I wanna be able to get the 2000 and maybe get a few other ones that are stepped up a little bit higher into the 5000 grit and that's what's really going to give me the crazy shine Good news, we're back where we started. We're actually a step ahead because we have the tail lights in. And I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and do anything um, as in wet sanding this for today. I think we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the back of the car because it's been a few hours. So it's, it's pretty much dry right now. So here it is, it's back on. And it's all one solid color. So this is going to be the end of the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.